Hi guys, it's me and today I'm so excited because I have a really special treat for you guys today. I'm like, oh my god. And do you know what the treat is? Oh my goodness, it's... Yeah, just look at it. <laughs> Raven Queen, daughter of the evil queen. Oh my goodness. And I know I told you about this in my Frozen Jellies one, but I didn't tell you what type it was. And it was the Mickey C Day one. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm just so excited. And, like, it was on the sale. I came up for only $29. And I was like, because it's usually, like, 50 or 40 bucks. I'm like, it's so expensive. I'm not going to buy it maybe with my Christmas money or something. And then I'm like, wait, I have enough money. And this is, like, on sale. I'm like, why don't I just get it now? And I'm like, oh. so, yeah. My first ever, ever after hide. I'll get it. Ever, ever after hide. I'll I know it's not funny. I didn't even mean that. I know. I'm going nuts. But I love this. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out of the box and then I'm going to show you because I'm so excited. See ya. Okay, she's out of the box. And as they would say in Ever After High, she is really cool. Get it? Really cool like they say in Ever After High. Anyway, she is Awesome, including everything that comes with her. This is probably one of my favorite dolls. Oh my goodness, look at this, all this plastic stuff they have on the dolls because they just want them to stay in so no one steals them. And I could understand why they do that because, like, seriously, people would be stealing these dolls all the time if they could. But they don't because it, it's so bad if people steal. Like, I paid my money for this, and then it's unfair if anyone doesn't have to. Ever After High, it says on the stand, which is awesome. Her stand is clear and silver, which is just, it goes well, so, so well. Like, okay, so I'm just going to take her off her stand for a second. This is the gorgeous, gorgeous doll. And it's not even her that makes the doll so awesome. It's the outfit. And the outfit is gorgeous. Look at this on her neck. This silver on her neck with this little chain that comes down like a necklace. This royally, royally cool cape. I mean, it has the purple sparkles, little purple and green bits on it. So a bit of black and some white creamish colors which is awesome and do you know all like I had to cut this thing out of the box man she was so hard to get out of the box but anyway it's, these are her awesome knee high boots I mean seriously and look her she, not only does she have feet unlike brat dolls and some MLP dolls but she has toes separated and her toes are painted purple the, the video does not do justice to the beauty of her feet and boots it just doesn't and then she has a two finger ring have you guys ever seen two finger rings I have I think I've had one once, or my sister's had one or something. They're royally cool. And this one falls off quite a bit, and it's really small, which is why I think they have this. This, the little book, it opens up, and it has nothing inside, except I put the little key inside in case that gets lost, because if that gets lost, that's lost. And then also, I'm going to put the little ring in here too, just in case they get lost. Because that will get lost royally easy, easily. I'm going to try and speak ever after high, if I can. And then her earrings are another thing that is royally cool. Or royally excellent. You know, excellent. Like in ever after high, they say excellent for excellent. I just, no. Yeah, I'm not good at it, but yeah. And then here's her headdress it's okay her headdress type thing has purple beads with this silver thing it looks like it has a raven on it which of course a definitely raven queen and then i just can't believe 
she has this whole heavy metal tough looking theme going on but she's actually probably the sweetest girl at she's probably the sweetest girl ever after and look at this gorgeous purse it's purple with a little silver dot just gorgeous and then her tights they're like it, they're purple and it looks like they have silver confetti on them or something and this the this video does not do justice to this doll this doll is gorgeous I cannot believe her not as good as the Serena Von Boodle I got from Monster High for Christmas but still really excellent and this she has like this little black bracelet on which has details in the middle which I can't show you because the video as I said does not do justice to this doll um and then she has a purple top on with silver little bits on it and black little bits on it like that and then she has this royally hexalenty lovely I don't know hexalently cool I don't even know if that's a word. Excellently cool chain silver belt with little black things. Like they're a bit rusted, which looks awesome. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this Raven Queen doll. But her makeup, like the glitter on her eyes, you cannot see that properly, is gorgeous. And um, I love how this looks like a gigantic key, but it's actually a hairbrush. And then, and then if you look at this, at the box, where is it? Here. Let me just move it out. Um, it has like a little hole here. And you can put the key in the little hole in the box. Turn the key around. Which is awesome that it has a little key in the box. That is awesome. It says, hey, out my spellbinding legacy day outfit. I think that means check out my like spellbinding means awesome type thing legacy day outfit. Um, it's the chapter we've waited for our whole. We're, it's the chapter we've waited our whole lives for. The time when we declare to be the next generation of famous fairy tales, magically binding ourselves to our legendary stories, dressed in our royally exquisite which means exquisite, legacy fashions, each of us holds the key to our destiny. Our future has been written, it's waiting to be unlocked. This is just the first step towards our very own Once Upon a Time. <gasps> Once Upon a Time, have you guys watched the show Once Upon a Time? It is like my favourite TV show. Anyway, back to the doll and the box. Way to spell, it's time to flip the script. Some students want to follow their true heart's desire. Has a happily... Not everyone has a happily ever after waiting for them, which means maybe they won't follow their destinies and they won't get a happily ever after. They'll live a normal life. And maybe Raven Queen, if she followed her destiny, she wouldn't get a happily ever after. Because, you know, she's Raven Queen and all. Okay, so she has little things in her um, cape that hold it together, but if you take them out, it's even cooler because the cape just goes everywhere, which is awesome. Um, um, time to rewrite our destinies for the first time ever after, which means for the first time ever. Um, tradition is going to be turned on its crown, which means tradition, like turned on its face or something turned around like it's not going to be the same are you a royal or a rebel shut the storybooks you you thought you knew and open a new chapter at ever after high where the spellbinding teenagers of the cl of classic fairy tale legends choose to fo choose to either follow their parents fabled or fabled i don't know footsteps or discover their own happily ever after. 
Um, ever after high, I think I'd probably be a rebel because you know I don't want to do exactly what my mum does or exactly what my dad does. That would be sort of weird or annoying. I don't know. I just want to make up my own destiny. So I'd choose rebel or rebel. Um, ever after rebels, Madeline Hatter. Madeline Hatter is um. Is Raven Queen's best friend? Yep. And Apple White and Briar Beauty and like um the daughter of Cinderella, Ashlyn Ella, yes, are all best friends, but there's only Apple White and Briar on the back of this. Then Hunter Huntsman is Ashlyn's boyfriend. I don't think Ashlyn's going to follow her destiny because she wants to be with Hunter. And I don't think Briar is going to follow her destiny. I don't know. I don't know if she wanted to or not because she didn't want to have to be asleep all that time. I don't know. There was something about it in um, the Legacy movie because I've watched it online, which is probably illegal, but I didn't download it, it was just on YouTube, so it's okay, because the, the people who put it up there are in trouble, not the people who watch it. So, yeah, this is really excellent, and I can't believe I have this doll, and if you want it to stay in, it has these little bands on the thingamabob that you can put over her hand, and then it can be like... She, her thing stays in a bit and over her so it's more like it's making her warmer or something i don't know but that neck piece looks really uncomfortable anyway bye guys thanks for watching